In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove blemishes and spots from your image using the spot removal tool. And I'll also show you how to use the red eye removal tool as well for getting rid of those hideous red eyes from uh, portraits when you're shooting with um, little compact digital cameras as opposed to using digital SLRs with big flash units on top of them. Okay, so to start out with, let's go up to the tools menu up in the top left hand corner and what you'll see first is you'll have the spot removal tool. Now you can either click on it or press B once again to select the tool itself. Now this tool is really, really neat. Um, so it allows you to remove spots and as you can see I have a few spots here. Let's just zoom in actually. Let's zoom in so we can actually highlight a couple of them. So for ex uh, example, these are a couple of uh, imperfections with um, Canon's digital cameras on the sensors, they, they tend to show these dots, uh, which are really quite unsightly. And so what you can do to remove them in Camera Raw is actually use the spot removal tool and go and click on them with your crosshair. You can then choose to increase the radius of the actual uh, spot that you're going to be cloning. And then if you grab the green and just bring it across to a different area, you'll notice that now the red area where the actual spot is, the red circle there, that's where the spot is. Now the green is the area it's actually cloning from and putting uh, that new area that it's cloned over the top of that blemish. So as you can see, that blemish is now gone. So if we were to just turn it on and off, you can see there's the blemish, now it's gone. So it's really great for removing um, camera imperfections. Now, one thing I will show you that I really find helpful when making these types of adjustments to my raw files is, as you can, you might not be able to see this, but there's a spot here, there's also a spot here, and there's a whole bunch of other spots throughout just the sky that have shown up. Now, a really great way of actually highlighting these and making them obvious to you is just to increase the contrast and also the density of the actual uh, image just quickly so that you can highlight those areas that need retouching. So as you can see here, I've got a couple that I need to actually retouch that I haven't done. Now, the tool itself will try and actually make automatic selections of the areas that it thinks should be uh, placed over the top of those blemishes um, and usually it's really quite good but sometimes you will need to actually move that green circle and place it in a particular area that is actually going to do the job for you so for example if you're adjusting or cloning out something that is um, on a line for instance you really got to get that line accurate so you want to make sure that it's it's perfect otherwise you end up with jagged uh, looking line that sort of looks odd and looks like you've actually done something to it. So sometimes you will actually need to make your own slight adjustments uh, in order to sort of correct those uh, blemishes using the spot removal tool. So as you can see here, I'm just going through and removing these obvious uh, dots that are in the scar of my image. So once you've done that, now obviously there are quite a few more in my image, but let's just drop it back to fit to view, you can see that they're actually removed now, although I have a couple over here that that are still quite obvious, like here and here. Um, so that's a really sort of useful technique for just quickly uh, highlighting where those blemishes are and uh, making them obvious to yourself when you're actually doing a retouching, because sometimes you may not actually notice that they're there. So that's what I like to do. And you can also do that in Photoshop using something like levels and darken it off using a layer, uh, and then just remove it later on uh, when you actually go back to your original settings. And that just makes sure that you, you pick up all those blemishes and don't forget any. Now, the other tool I want to show you is the red eye removal tool. So as you can see, the lady in the middle has quite obvious red eye. So let's now go and actually zoom in to 100% just to take a closer look at what we're going to be working with. So as you can see there, it is quite predominant and quite obvious. So in order to remove this, what we need to do is go up to the red eye removal tool, which is a little eye icon, and you can select E on the keyboard or just click on the actual icon itself. 
And what you'll see is you have a red eye removal panel and you'll have two options there. You'll have pupil size and darken. But to start out with, what you want to first do is actually use your mouse and drag a little rectangle or um, square around the affected eye. Once you've done that, it'll create a little box, which you may have to actually adjust yourself. You may have to adjust it accordingly, but what you want to do is get it to sort of the outside edges of the actual pupil itself. Now, once you've done that, you can then go and actually make some adjustments using these sliders. So with the pupil size, as you increase it, the actual uh, area that the red is actually um, desaturated from will actually expand from the center of your actual uh, box there. So as you can see here, that the more I increase it, uh, it, it desaturates more of that area for us. And it starts to, as you can see here, if I go really extreme, you start to see on the outside edges of just the eyelid there, it start, it's going white because it's actually desaturated uh, on, on the skin of the eyelid, which is not what we want. So you've really just got to be careful with that and make sure you're, the box size that you're using is obviously correct and, and you haven't gone sort of too overboard with what I've done there. But it really shows you uh, the effect of and the effectiveness of this tool itself. You can then actually choose to darken off the pupil itself by making a slight adjustment to the dark darken slider. So as you can see here, the further to the right I get, the more dense the pupil in the middle gets. Now that's obviously quite um, uh, quite extreme there, but if I knock it back to about 58, 60 say, that looks quite okay. So now if I just go to the remove that for a second, you'll notice there that you've got quite an acceptable um, a, quite an acceptable correction to red eye removal. So that's essentially how you remove red eye from portraits and uh, any photographs that are taken with flash directly on the camera close to the lens.